Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video in this mod loader series that I'm doing. So if you've been following along so far, if you're actually like following the tutorials and not just like looking stuff up, because I upload kind of inconsistently, inconsistently, whatever. Um, so but if you have been following, you have like, you have two just normal blocks. You got a light block, you got an item and a food item, and all that fun stuff. But today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an ore, which is pretty much the same as just making a block. But then I'm going to show you how to make it generate in the world. So, first we must start by making the block. Sorry, I had to yawn. Alrighty, so. What I'm actually gonna do is that uh, I'm gonna take our demo block. Oops. I'm gonna take our demo block and I'm gonna copy it. Just because this block is gonna be. The code for this block is gonna be very similar. Oh, and I'm not responding. That's great. Okay, here we go. So. Go come down here, go underneath the light block, and I'm gonna paste that. And it'll bring up some errors, probably. Yep. So it's gonna be um, demo or block. So there we go. Um, let's change the ID to 103 real quick. So 103. And save. All right, so we're gonna go up into the blocks over here, and we're gonna copy and paste our block demo. So just copy, paste. So Control C, Control V, and we're gonna make a demo or Shazam. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so you go ahead and open that up. And we've actually already looked inside one of the block files before when we were editing uh, the demo block. So now we're going to go over here where it says block demo for our or, and we're going to just put or at the end. And save. Now we're going to pull up our textures real quick to see what the name of the file is for our textures. Then let's see, uh, where do we where were we keeping our textures at? Um oh wrong folder, my bad. There we go. So the it is called demo or the space. No, that's not a space. Good. I don't like spaces. So go ahead and take block out of there. Just replace that with or. Alrighty. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna make the hardness three and the resistance five. You can set those to whatever you'd like, though. And then down here where it says set block name, um, what did we name this exactly? Just go ahead and copy that. There's something on my arm and it's bugging me. Go away. Alrighty, so now that we have the block made, we're going to go over here into this, and we don't want it to drop inverted block. Um, you can set this to drop whatever you wanted, or whatever you want, but I actually want this to drop the demo item. So, demo item dot icon index. And save that. So now that means if I break the demo or it will drop a demo item. So now the part, not, it's not really necessarily tricky, but uh, the more difficult part is to make it spawn in the world. So we're just going to go ahead and register the block real quick. So if you remember, it's modloader.register block. 
if I can type today. And then we just added this block, so demo were block. And then we want to go ahead and give it a name, of course. So mod loader dot add name. So demo or block. And we'll just name it demo or and then save. Alright, so now that we've done all of that. Alrighty, so after you make your or block and you have the block registered and you have the name added and everything. This is when I'm going to show you how to make it generate like in the world. So what you want to start by is going underneath of your, um, you don't necessarily have to go underneath mod underscore demo, but I recommend that you do. So what you want to do is type in public void generate surface circle brackets world world comma random random int i and int j and then we're going to go ahead and go down here get them squiggly brackets going now we're going to type in for circle bracket int a equals equals zero semicolon a um, I think that's a greater than sign I could be wrong I don't know those signs very well it's amazing I graduated high school uh, semicolon a plus plus here we go go outside here and put another squiggly bracket hit enter then this is where we're going to put in like the information of how the block will spawn. So we're going to go ahead and type in int, that is not int, int POS X, hit enter, int POS Y, hit enter, int POS POS Z. Let's go back up to X, hit space equals i plus random random dot next int next int and then so since this is x that is like this is gonna be like how much it spawns like side to side basically so we're just gonna make a 16 nothing too special um, after I show you how to make it, we'll go ahead and look at some examples of like the other ores just to see how much they spawn and stuff. Just so you can get an idea. It's like, okay, if I set it to this, then it spawns the same rate as like coal. So you, know, you get kind of an idea of what you're looking at, I guess. And it's not responding. There we go. Semicolon. Let's go down to Y. Uh, space equals random random dot next int oops wrong one dot next int ay 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 pressing all the wrong buttons fuck dot next next int and then we're going to set this to 28 128 and this is gonna be like how high it spawns in the world. So like, I believe 128 is like the same as coal. So you'll see it on like the sides of mountains and stuff. So we're gonna go down to uh, POS Z, hit um, equals J plus random dot next int random dot next int, and we're also gonna set this to 16. And then hit that semicolon. Now hit enter. Use your little circle brackets. Type in new. Capital W world. Capital G gen. Capital M mineable. I just spelled that all kinds of wrong. So mineable. Then we're going to do some more circle brackets. And then we're going to type in demo or demo or block. 
block dot block ID comma and we're going to set this to 32 because we want it to spawn quite a bit so that we can find it quickly and then we're going to go ahead and hit go outside the brackets and hit dot then we'll type in generate we'll use circle brackets so where var1 is change that to world change var2 to random change var3 to posx and by the way if, um, if you don't know what POS means, it means position. So it's like the position in the world. So where var4 is, we're going to change that to POSY. POSY. And var5 to POSZ. Alrighty, so it's all good except for one thing. Oh, don't forget, go outside the bracket and make sure you put a little comma. Now, underneath of this little area, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. We're going to type in world, world, comma. And it will look like that. So, um. Oh, sorry, got to yell. So, that's how you make it spawn. Now, since this is. Since you can just get this ore, or since you can't actually like obtain, like you can't craft the ore, you know, it's like, or what am I trying to say? Because when you break this ore, you get a demo item, as we specified here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a crafting recipe so that you can make the demo block, or the demo ore. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'll skip to you guys in a moment. Alrighty, so after you have all of your stuff that you've been making set up, so you have like the order, the the generation set and stuff, let's go ahead and make a new world. So um, just because, so unless you want to keep the same world, you're going to have to go fairly far away from where you are into chunks that you haven't loaded yet so that your new ore can spawn. So it's just easier to create a new world in my opinion. So we went ahead and made it spawn fairly often. So yeah, there's some right here. Look at that. Let's go ahead and make the game full size real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get some wood. Now since we just made a normal block, it doesn't actually have any sort of level that you need to break it so I could actually um, since it is a stone kind of block you do need at least a pickaxe but you know you could just do it with a wooden pick which is what I'm about to do here in a second so since we have it spawning at such a high rate um, that's why it's like such a big like patch as you know, obviously you don't find diamonds like this unless you're using a mod. So let's go ahead and get this out. So Shazam. And then we're going to break it up. Get that demo item. Oops. Did we... Anyways, that's how you make a item 
or not an item that's how you make a block spawn in the world is this little bit of code right here that I showed you guys um if you like the video please leave a like and all that fun stuff so I'd really appreciate it um thank you for watching